So last week, we reviewed the best kits in the UAE and caused a bit of a stir. If you don't believe me, check out our social media channels. We got a lot of comments, a lot of feedback. Uh, we even got posted by a global brand, which uh, was, was great. Pretty epic. Yeah, you can also check out the episode here if you haven't already done so. Uh, this week, however, we look at the craziness behind kit manufacturing in the Saudi Pro League, the SPL. Stick around, it's going to be a doozy. So living in the UAE, it's pretty easy to watch the Saudi League on TV. And you know, I'll catch the occasional match yeah. uh, here and there. But over the last few years, what I was seeing was that there are more and more local kit manufacturers coming into the league. And mm -hmm. um, you'd always had sort of the major global brands in Saudi, yeah. um, but then you've got local ones coming in. When we were researching for this episode though, we counted no less than 11 different manufacturers. For how many teams? For a 16 team league. Yikes. Absolutely insane. Yikes. I, was, I, I don't know of any other league in the world that has that many kit manufacturers for that right. many teams in league. Right. It's absolutely insane. Duh, I've got to say something. Off the back of this, I'm starting my own kit brand. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see where you get to. Watch this space. Done. We're, we're very interested Guys, to see where this gets space. with that. Um, you know, no Nike in Saudi. No. Despite them sponsoring the national team. Correct. Um, you know, there's no... And having a long, and having a long kind of um, history, or at least over the last kind of five to... 10 years, maybe. Yeah, with Al Hilal. I yeah, mean, in exactly. The, the biggest uh, team there. You know? had at one stage. And yeah, some of these kind of big Saudi clubs had major sponsors. brands. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you had Umbro in there before. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, they sponsored Al Ahli. Yep. Um, but you don't see them there. Nope. You know, there's a big lack of, of, of big brands. I mean, I think there's one team who has an Adidas sponsorship. That was Al Faisali, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Um, and then there was another team that was sponsored by Puma. And that yep. was it. So one team, one team. The rest are all brands that we'd never heard of, the local Saudi brands or yep. brands from countries like China or Italy. Yep. Um, you know, so it's a treasure trove of obscurity uh, yeah. when it comes to kit manufacturers. And we were really, really excited to kind of look in and see what content we could find uh, of, of, of manufacturers that is going around the Saudi Arabia. And, and hopefully this sparks uh, a similar debate to the debate that we had uh, you know, last week on about the UAE kits. I, I, hopefully it kind of opens us up to what's what else is in saudi yeah you know exactly. that's what i'm that's what i'm hoping to get from this the first kit that we looked at um that really really actually impressed me was uh al Ittihad's. yes now they've always had class kits you know and they've had kits from global brands yep. that, 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 that have done that but this was a local one and yep. um, they're called tamim tamam uh tamim tamam tamim tamam <laughs> uh they had a Facebook page that we yeah. looked up. Yeah. Um, not sure if they had a website, yeah. but we, we found a contact. I think we'll try and get in touch with them, but they produced a pretty cool effort for the for the Al Ittihad yeah. Home and Away kits. Um, you know, you've got the classic uh, yellow and black stripes. Correct. I mean, that's that, that's who they are, right? It's, They've it, always it's been, who they are, yeah. yeah. They're a bit wider this yep. season than, than previously on, yep. the, on the home kit, which, which doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Um, of course, modeled by Ahmed Hegazi, who's come from West Brom to the region. Of big, course. big signing for them. The cool thing about the backdrop of the kit, though, is the map of Jeddah. Yeah. And if you go to Tamim's Facebook or I think their social media pages, they literally show Google Maps of Jeddah <laughs> and the kit. Um, pretty cool, nonetheless, you know, yeah, giving it a yeah. bit of a local touch, which, yeah. which I, I thought I was cool. I like that you can see it through the black kind of stripes. Yeah. Um, and on the away kit, yeah. it's basically featured, you know, That's right what on it top, is. basically. Yeah. It's basically a map yeah. in the kit. Um, pretty cool, non nonetheless. I, I like the logo of Tamim, to be honest. Okay, that that kind of clean. nice clean T. Yeah, yeah, I like that too. I think it's... The home kit yeah. has a very similar thing uh, that I noticed up here uh, where the collar meets the shirt yep. of what Barcelona have, uh, yep. little mini stripes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is a nice little touch. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, they borrowed, I think. But the map in the background of the kit, I've seen it done in, in a few third kits in Europe. I okay. can't remember the teams, but okay. for a team to do it on their home and away kit, yeah. and especially feature so heavily in the away kit, is a pretty bold move. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so as a first effort, I think from Tamim, Fair decent, cool. decent yeah. effort. Yeah, very, decent. very good from a, from a local manufacturer. Very good. So up next was a brand that we had never really heard of, actually, maybe shamefully, but because they have been around for, for at least a decade. Yeah, right? they sponsored a yep. couple of European teams, Birmingham yep. City, um, yep. you know, and Villarreal yep. in the last 10, five to 10 years. Yep. Um, but looking at the logo, it looked pretty familiar, um, but I'd, I'd never really seen it on any other major no, teams. No, me neither. And um, it is X-TEP? X-TEP. Yeah, X-TEP. Well, yeah, X-T-E-P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Initially, I thought X-TEP. This yeah. is a new boy band. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, X-TEP um, out of China. 
Yep. And uh, yeah, some really interesting numbers, uh, specifically Al Shabab in uh, in Saudi. Look, when I first saw the Al Shabab kit, it took me to the Norwegian or Mexican leagues. Okay. That's simply because of okay. the number of sponsors on the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think we counted each into there's 11 different sponsors on the Al Shabab playing which is kit. just unfathomable. I mean, this is unbelievable. Wow. I mean, they they you know, great way to make money. Yeah. Um, yeah. but just frankly speaking ruins the kit because when you look at the X step effort for Al Shabab, home away in third. Oh. Really nice, really, subtle, really beautiful. Very nice, clean concept. Very nice kind of uh, uh, neck collar. Uh, beautiful kind of pattern in the in the background. A very subtle, subdued, just a clean kit. Yeah, and then they cover it in sponsors. I mean, absolutely. I, I don't. I have no idea what they're thinking with that. I mean, it, it's yeah. it's a commercial team money, money, overtaking. Money, money. There we go <laughs> overtaking anything to do with yeah. With, yeah. with with aesthetic. Yeah, you know, um, and, and and fair play if it does what it's, it does for the club, then it, that's great. It's that age old debate that the commercial team saying, "Yeah, we've got another sponsor. We've got another sponsor. We've got another sponsor," yeah. and the marketing and the kind of uh, you yeah. know the, the other kind of the, the kit team saying. We just can't fit any more on. They've we can't. Eleven people. Put it on the shorts. Put it on the shorts. <laughs> put it on the back. Yeah. You know. There's eleven people in the commercial team going out making deals. Yeah, we'll put you on the shirt. We'll put you on the shirt, and then before you know it, they're all on the shirt. Because it's know? like you know, one above the low, uh, the the kit manufacturer, one in the middle. It's you unreal. Know, three, uh, three here in the front. A couple on the on each sleeve. On the shorts. Two on the, on the back. back. Two on. The, it's like wow. It was. It, wow. It, it's an advertising billboard, and you know they've they've signed Eva Benega. Yeah. Um, you know, so he was a big coup for them coming yeah. over. Well, maybe that's why uh, they need the, the sponsors, summer. mate. They, they need the money. <laughs> back you know <laughs> but you know x step good effort with the kit yeah unfortunately ruined by by, by uh, let's, let's not say ruined but kind of like hidden the the, the effort is hidden <laughs> it was ruined <laughs> it was ruined i'm sorry you can still see the pattern people kind of yeah. get what x step we're going for but the sponsors i i can't I okay can. um on the other hand though x step did pull off a good effort with uh, Al Ahly. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, who have made some really good kits in the last few few years that yeah. the club themselves, um, you know, working with Umbro. Yeah. Um, you know, really nice clean sponsorships, mm -hmm. clean colors, clean yep. effects. Yep. And you know, the X-Step kit from this year isn't bad looking. Yeah, the it sponsors, works. The sponsors, yeah. MG and Saudi, they yeah. blend really nicely yeah. into the kit. Yeah. You know, you've got the, the dark green flowing through. Yeah. You've got the white with the yep. dark green alternative. You know, it's a nice, that's oh, how a kit should it's be. Like, it's like the national team kit, exactly, right? Yeah, exactly. well, that's what it reminded me on. And the fact that it's got that big Saudi kind of sponsorship yeah. in the middle. You're like, oh, okay, that's yeah. that's very Saudi. So yeah. two great kits coming out of Jeddah. Yeah. Al Ahli Jeddah yep. and Etihad. You know, yeah. uh, two rivals yeah. playing in a great stadium and making yeah. great kits. So... Jeddah doing a good job. <laughs> Very good. Riyadh, you got some catching up to do with Al Shabab <laughs> there. But uh, you know, good good couple of efforts from X Step. Yeah. Um, would like to see more of what they can do. Uh, Absolutely. So while doing a bit more research on the Saudi Arabian teams, uh, we found a brand that had a funny name, Skilano. Uh, it sounds like something out of The Godfather, <laughs> you know. Uh, Skilano's it's, come it's back. Definitely from sounds Italian. Yeah. Skilacci, Skilano. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got yeah. it's got that ring to it. Skilano. So, Skilano. Uh, so <clears throat> Skilano <laughs> has come into the Saudi league and does three teams uh, in the in first the division. Pro league, yep. In the pro league, and we found a couple of teams in the second division as well. Yep that were sponsored by uh, or had kids well, made by Skilano. If you recall, it was it last week, uh, it, it just popped up in my Twitter feed and I sent it to you and I was like, duh, who is this team? And and how can we get these kits, yeah. right? Um, I, I was completely blown away because again, never heard of Skilano, but I was just kind of, I was blown away by the how nice these kits were. Yeah, and the team However, was, the team was <laughs> Al-Hilal United, United in the second division of Saudi. So you yeah. got Al-Hilal in the first and Al-Hilal yeah. United yeah. in the second. So is this a kind of like Probably no Man relation. United, FC United of Manchester? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind it of has thing. to be. It's like a, you know, a group be. of fans have formed their own team. <laughs> or we'd love to know more information about this yeah. Al-Hilal United. But, you know, their kit from Skilano was pretty nice, to be honest yeah. with you. I, I mean... mean uh, I was going to say that there's a, there's a there's a nice little kind of stripe that yep. runs down the center of the kit. Unfortunately, it cuts right through the, uh, the sponsor, the sponsor, yeah. which I thought was a little odd, yeah. you know. But it's still, it's still okay, pretty pretty decent. You know, and they, clean, they, you know. You know. Yeah. Another team in the another team in the second division called Al Fayha, um, also a really nice kit yeah. with that that cool sponsor. Yeah, uh, the, the fourth the, triangle, like the, the tiger patterns. Yeah, you know, in the background. I yeah. really I really like those two kits yeah. by by Skilano. Absolutely. Um, when you look at the Saudi Pro League. Kits, on the other hand, 
I wasn't too impressed. Mm. I mean, you've got Albertine, you've got yep. Demac, and you've got Alain. Yeah. Um, the Alain kit is a personal favorite. <laughs> yeah. uh, you like this the one? The sponsor, Gento, just fits in so well with the shirt. <laughs> you know, it's a bright yellow kit with a bright blue sponsor. Yeah. Um, it, to me, looks like a nicely well-packaged together kit. I would never buy it, but yeah. from a design perspective, yeah. not the worst. Yeah, okay. I, I can give you that. To me, it reminds me too much of uh, Villarreal. So that bright yellow, yeah. no, uh, um, is it Villarreal? The yeah, bright yellow, yeah, yellow bright submarines. Yellow. Yeah, the yeah. yellow submarines, yeah. Yeah, no, it just, that, it, it took me straight there. I was like, because yeah. they are they are extremely bright, right? And, yeah. and as as is uh, Alain. I'm yeah. clutching at straws here. You know, that was my, <laughs> that was my top Scalano kit from the Saudi Premier League. Yeah. The other two. Albertines is okay. I mean, it, you yeah. know, it's, it's, it's okay. There's um, nothing, nothing really to write home about And there. And Damak couldn't really find yeah. much on Damak anyway, yeah. but. Uh, like them for the name, Scalano. Yeah. Cool name. Yeah. Cool second division kit. So yeah. they're doing something right. Yeah. Um, second division kits were available for sale online as well, which was quite cool. Very affordable. E what, 100, affordable 110 Saudi Rials. 110 about, Rials. Yeah. yeah. And I think uh, um, uh, Halal United for about 148 Saudi Rials. Yeah, so bad. 150 dirhams. Quite yeah. affordable. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how many fans they have that would be buying that. But hey, Halal United, if you see this content, get us a shirt. We'd love to, <laughs> we'd love to check it out. <laughs> so we've looked at three kit manufacturers, which means that there are still eight more to go. Um, but we just don't have enough time, enough information to kind of go through all of them. Uh, they're, they're quite difficult to find information at, uh, about. Yeah. So, I mean, we're just gonna run through them quickly. They've got some amazing names. Uh, they've got some really cool designs and we're gonna flash them up on screen and, and kind of ask you guys to help us out, um, help us identify who the manufacturers are for the ones that we can't find and, um, and just kind of tell us more about the, the clubs themselves and the, you know, what you like and dislike about the, the, the kits. Yeah, so major yep. manufacturers starting off first, yep. Adidas. Yep. They make the kits for Al Faisali. Yep. Pretty cool. Yep. Maroon color. Yep. Look like Lyon. Yep. Um, you know, nothing to write home about, but uh, nonetheless using the template very well that we see across the this season. And I, I don't mind the away kit. I think it's like a, a gray, uh, yeah. gray with hints of maroon. Yeah, so. gray. There's gray and gray yep. and maroon efforts. Yep. So not, not too bad there. Yep. Uh, we see Jaco, Jaco, Jaco from... Europe, they maybe, do maybe Bayer Jaco. Leverkusen uh, in Germany, yeah. Stuttgart, teams like that. Yep. Um, you know, they've got Al Ittifak. Yep. Um, not bad. Mm. Traditional colors that they've got. Yeah. I, I prefer their away kit to their home kit. Their home kit looks a little Christmassy. Yeah. Yeah. Mexican. <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> that was the one. Yeah, that's Me right. Mexican, Mexican home shirt. <laughs> um, following that, we've got the Offside brand. Yeah, this as well. this stumped me. Uh, they've got teams such as Abha, Al Fata, and that's it. I think. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad you're pronouncing those yeah, names. I'm, I would have butchered them. I'm, I'm trying my best here. <laughs> Tough to remember them. Um, but yeah, so offside making kind of okay kits. Nothing. Nothing really to write home about. Um, one manufacturer that I really do like is Victory. Okay. They do Al Nasser's home and away kits, and they've had them for a couple of seasons now. Yeah. Um, it might actually be Al Nasser's own brand. Don't quote me on that. Okay. But it's a cool brand. Like the way that they've kept the, the kits clean, um, yeah. you know, for them. So, you know, pretty pretty happy with the, how they I'm, look. I'm, I'm telling you, Dar, there's there's a business idea here. I'm telling you, You and mate. this kit brand, man. Uh, Watch this. But in a couple of episodes, <laughs> he'll have his own brand. Totsida Sports, I guarantee you. <laughs> Um, but we'll stay stay tuned no, for no, that. It has to be a cooler name than that. Yeah, fine. <laughs> we'll see. Um, Al Hilal, biggest team in Saudi Arabia, arguably one of the biggest teams in Asia. Yep. Um, long association with Nike. Yep. Um, have now got a brand called S Team. S Team. S Team. Could could that be could that be a girl group, a girl band? <laughs> <laughs> we've got X Step. K-pop is big. Man. Yeah, it's yeah. We've got X Step, who are the boy band. We've and got S Team, S -team who yeah. are the girl. Yeah. Why? What? I don't know where they get these names from. It must mean something. Um, you know, we had N Forty Five over in the UAE. Yeah, yeah. We've got S Team. Yeah. In uh, in in, <laughs> in Saudi Arabia. But you know, again, it might be a brand that you yeah. know is made by Halal. We don't, we don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Tough to find a lot of information out about it. But the kit itself. Not bad looking. You didn't particularly like it when you first saw it's it, but I think bad. the more we kind of dived into it, I, I, look, it's it's grown on me. I, actually, I yeah. don't mind the subtleness of the of the the dots coming in and out. Yeah. You know, I think if Emar as a sponsor was there by itself, it yep. would look a lot better. Okay. The other the other placement of the sponsors for me is what sure. makes the kit look a bit funky. Yeah, um, yeah, that red sponsor, uh, Jahez, Jahez, think, yeah, yeah brand, it does know. look a little. Put that on the sleeve, yep. and you've got a great kit. Yeah, you know, uh, keep the front plain, and, and, and you're good. You're Agreed. doing well. I think they've just put a Shawarma brand on their sleeve as well. I don't know the name. Okay, but. Uh, okay. We'll see if we can find a picture and, and, and put it up here, but it's, nice. a, it's a pretty cool logo to, nice. to go on the sleeve. 
Um, Italian brand, brand Erea. Erea. Yep. Uh, sponsors of Taawan uh, FC. Taawan? Taawan. Taawan. Yeah, we've got the Ain. Ain. Um, <laughs> they are, they are uh, sponsored by Erea this yep. season. Not a big fan of the kit, but I do like what Erea did last season with the brand, Ooh. the the team Al Raid. Yeah. Um, really, really nice AC Milan looking say, kit. Throw back to their Italian roots, really right? Really cool mm. kit. You know, the great, great colors, yeah. you know, really powerful looking shirt. Yeah. And the, and the thin, the thin kind of stripes to make up the, the kit. This exactly. Is, yeah, for it was last a very, season. very nice looking yeah. kit. Um, Al Raid this season though, uh, kind of underwhelming. Mm. Uh, they're sponsored by a brand called Challenge. Okay. Another brand we've never heard of and couldn't really find any information about. Yeah. Um, but, Kind of underwhelmed by this season's kit, but last season's Al Raid was one of my favorites. That would have been my my favorite kit from last year. Really? If we, if we had done this then. Okay. Um, so top favorite of mine with, with, Amazing. with those guys. Okay. So finally, um, there's a brand that we actually don't know anything about because it's not on the kit. Um, the team is Al Wahda from Saudi. They've got an amazing uh, badge. Yeah. The crest looks fantastic. Uh, it's really, very really franchisey well though. Very franchisey. Very American. <laughs> um, the kit itself reminded me of Switzerland's kit from Euro 96. A very good shot, red, actually. Red kit yeah. with sort of snow uh, sprayed across <laughs> the top. Drifting off the Drifting shoulders. Down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Does I it mean, get cold in... A, in snows in Saudi Arabia. The yeah. Saudi Arabia has had snow recently. Uh, yeah. Viral clips of like camels walking through the, the snow. So it does get pretty cold. Um, gets very cold in Switzerland, so there's maybe parallels. But, you know, the kit looks quite nice. I mean, I wasn't, I, you know, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't hate it. It'll pass. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I didn't know who the manufacturer was. The, the badge is a trophy. Well, Wikipedia says uh, Tamim, Tamim, right? right? But, but Tamim, we see a logo of Tamim on Etihad with it, which was a T. So, guys, if you can help us out here. <laughs> who, who makes that kit? Because uh, <laughs> yeah. it's pretty cool. And there's, a, there's just a trophy as a badge, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Just for, a trophy. for their training kits, for their um, home, their away. Just, it's, even it's even the off-field wear. It was yeah. all this trophy. And yeah. We, we don't know. We don't know what brand that is. So if it's Tamim, let us know. Yeah. Um. You know. Then they need to get consistent because their their logo on the Etihad kit is is, is a different. different one. Yeah. So who yeah. knows? But uh, you know, not about yellow Tamim. Get get back to us. Tell us, please. <laughs> Tell us. Let us know. But uh, that wraps it up. I think for the Saudi uh, yeah. the Saudi kits. You know, a lot of interesting stuff going on over there. A lot of manufacturers we've never heard of. Uh, a lot of decent efforts. Some good efforts. Absolutely. Efforts. Yeah. You, you can't kind of dismiss them. I think, um, and especially as some of these kind of smaller brands. I think it'd, it'd be it'd be difficult to kind of get something off the ground um, and to have to provide a team with all the on-field wear, off-field, uh, first home kit, away kit, maybe yeah. the, the academy. So, I mean, there's a, there's a massive expense there. Yeah. Something that I'm going to look into more and more after go. this. Totsita Sports coming soon. <laughs> Stay to a tuned, guys. You. Stay tuned. I'll keep you posted.